Um, so I'll start with a flashback. This was a few years ago when my cat was in fairly good health. The only thing wrong with her was what I call slippery bowel syndrome. She just dropped poops all over the house, wherever and whenever she felt so inspired. thought I'd consider those the good old days. Because, a couple of years later, Kitty got sick and stopped pooping altogether. The vet said there was a growing mass of some sort causing blockage, and he recommended a biopsy and chemotherapy to the tune of thousands of dollars. But you're looking at a very old Kitty, and I was unemployed, so this was a ludicrous suggestion. I wanted to punch the vet for even mentioning it. As the mass grew, Kitty became intensely constipated. As a result, she developed her prowling routine. For days on end, she'd prowl around the house in discomfort, struggling desperately to poop. I knew she was in pain, but here's the bizarre thing that I still can't figure out. Even though she was struggling and hurting, I found her prowling routine kind of meditative. It was like Kitty was the focal point of a mandala, something to concentrate on while meditating. And this, believe it or not, calmed me. It soothed my aching psyche. <laughs> Now, you must think I'm pretty sick to meditate on a sick cat, so some explanation is in order about my state of mind at the time. I was, I understand now, depressed. Not, I'm having suicidal thoughts, depressed. Just, I can't get motivated, depressed. I had been essentially unemployed for almost a year, and, like the cat, I was often prowling around the house in a state of discomfort. I found it almost impossible to write, and I am, or was at any rate, a professional writer for advertising agencies. But that's not all. I hadn't really done anything creative in a while. I hadn't picked up my, my paintbrushes for a long time. I hadn't created any graphics on the computer in, 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 in many months. And with the exception of this pathetic footage, I hadn't shot any video in a hell of a long time. <laughs> And so at this point in time, my main form of exercise was sitting calmly with a transcendent expression, meditating on my chronically constipated kitty. Every so often, I'd get into a nostalgic mood and torture myself by looking at the stupid advertising I managed to produce during my reluctant 25-year career in the advertising business. And then one day I had an epiphany. 
While looking at some of my ads, I suddenly realized that what the cat was now struggling to do, I had done effortlessly and successfully for many clients throughout the years in my career in advertising. God, look at this dreck that I got paid to create. <laughs> anyway, when I got sick of looking at my ads, I'd go back to looking at my sick cat. At night, I couldn't sleep, so I'd creep downstairs and check on Kitty to see if she was still breathing. And knowing that Kitty's days were numbered, I decided to be proactive and to prepare for the inevitable. I cobbled together a little casket. Now this gave me something sort of creative to do for a few hours. And then I wondered if I made the damn thing big enough, so I decided to try a dry fit. But there was fire yet in Kitty. Unlike me, she could still get feisty. So I let her be, and I watched, and I meditated. Then one day, the meditative calm of Kitty's prowling was shattered by a startling act of defiance. <laughs> At the time, I interpreted this as Kitty's way of staring mortality in the eye and saying, Fuck you! You'll not get me! I was, of course, wrong, because Kitty then crawled into a corner and died. This was a bright, cool autumn morning, and the crows outside were swarming and acting insane. They sung her a loud, dissonant, squawking requiem. I couldn't have predicted it, but Kitty's death unexpectedly gave me the fuel to soar out of my depression. She unintentionally gave me the visual key I needed to begin creating again. Her death was like an intense beacon of eye-opening light that pierced the darkness of my depressed state and that showed me the pathway back to creativity. Kitty bequeathed to me a graphic theme upon which I found I could spin endless visual variations. It was an abstract symbol that pointed the way to my artistic future. A code that, when broken, opened the door wide on new artistic frontiers for me. Like a gestural abstract expressionist painter, Kitty seemed to have found an idiosyncratic way to unlock the deep recesses of the subconscious. But it was my mind that was freed, my creative impulses that were reinvigorated. Now that I've conquered the blues, I am producing my strongest, most meaningful visual work ever. Art that, I'm confident, will valiantly stand the test of time. 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 <laughs>
But, as Kitty has taught me, nothing lasts forever.